Okay, we're about to start the final leg of our journey. And I think you need to start it by talking to... Yes, man, here. Yeah. Are you ready to head for the dam? Caesar's Legion is due to attack at any moment. I'm ready to go to the dam. Great! So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there are two ways we... You... Yeah, we've been all through this. Basically, destroy some generate holes or divert the power to the bunker hill. So we can activate the re reactor there and the Securitron Mark IIs. So let's do this. We're gonna try, try to reactivate the Securitrons. You must get to the control room and install the override chip. More guns. Suddenly, spawning allies. Come on. So if we're not gonna use our weapons here, we're not gonna use them. Mm, this is not the totality of the fighting. Not in any any way. Some tree arms. We, uh, I know we have the nukes, but it's it just isn't a good weapon here. I don't think there's sea finders either. We could go with some nukes. Okay, we're gonna go to Okay, let's move. Any more hostiles? This one exactly unexpected. This is there's a lot of fighting here, so dying is uh, very likely. Likely outcome for many. It's still a shame to lose her, but I, I noticed the guys coming at our rear too late. She gave her life for something she believed in. It's a good end. It's better than dying in the wasteland and being left in the ditch. I didn't realize it would start war here. Yeah, it's all over actually. Hi! Nice 
nice to see you again. So, we can blow up the dam's generators, or I could route the dam's entire power output to the fort. That'll activate a certain army of Securitrons and set them loose to ravage the Legion. What do you say? Send power to the fort. Yes! This is gonna be fun! I'm unlocking the East Power Plant. Hit the manual switch, then go topside and deal with the Legion and NCR. Activate the Eastern Power Plant to power the Security Drawn Army. No matter they to be, be shooting to take down, I was using hollow points on our armor target. Not a not a smart thing to do. Might as well to use drugs at this point. It's not like after a after a little while there's no use for drugs anymore, so now we're never Turn on the switch. Okay, head to the legate's camp and deal with the legate and the seizures you need. Okay, moving on. The one coming at our back. Yeah, these guys are very good top. Chasing us. <laughs> Someone's leg standing there. Uh, that is funny. <laughs> but the security drones are going to annihilate everything. Long range missile capability, nade launcher at the close range. They're very, very, very dangerous at this point. In someone's leg. I think we can start using the heavier missiles. We need to take a look at the situation. Steadily. Okay, 
Yes, me, Kazak. He's just watching there, standing in guard while the missile is coming straight for him. Okay, are you other guards here? Yeah, there's a guard. Knee sneak attack on the German legionary. Can't even die though. So we have to be careful, these guys are the top blasters. They won't go down easily. Mongrel cage. This gate keeps the legion mongrels inside. It appears that the lock in mechanism can't be tampered to seal the gate shut. Also, you can try to slip a narcotic into the cage to knock the mongrels out. Yeah. Remove the mechanism springs to seal the gate shut. So, no more doggies to the rescue. Then what are these neutrals? Oh. Yeah, I think there is a guard there. That is fascinating. I don't think there is a guard there anymore. Veteran Legionary. Next look at the situation. I know we might want to do some mini nuking. How much? Uh, five, six. But I'd like to fire at something larger than a single target. Unless it's the main bad guy here. It's a huge health pool with him. Absolutely massive. So, a couple of nukes. We should take care of him. Ooh, a lot of guys there. By a lot, I mean more than one. At least. Where are they? Are they behind those? Are they in there? I'd like to take a <laughs> and the other bastard part survived. Jesus Christ. Yeah, didn't survive that, did you? A touring gun, ballistic fist. The dangerous guys. Wouldn't want to get into melee range with them. Where are you here? I will protect you. Well, that is. That is beautiful. I feel much safer already. I have no interest in talking to anyone, so if we notice where the guy is before he tries to do his villain's dialogue with us, uh, I'll nuke the bastard. At some point, I always feel that games try to push the talk to everything or everyone too far, so because you'll also lose your advantage in combat if you do. Holy shit. 
yeah, something weird, weird, weird is going on in this world. Um, okay, that's probably his. Yeah, that's him. So those are his guards. I think there's only one way to deal with these guys. It's hard to aim with this. I have no idea where the fucking thing will land. Critical strike me. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The body is up. Uh, I can't use the nukes against the general, so we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Grenade machine gun, plasma fire. Hmm, where did the guy go? Over here. Legate Lannis, Blade of the East. Pretty dangerous blade that has a uh, damage over time effect. Legate healing powder, a very powerful healing powder. Nice element. Missile mask. Yeah. No match for the desert wolf. Anyone? Anyone still want to fight? Anyone at all? Uh, I I need to buff myself a little bit more. I think. More psycho medics. The general comes first. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you'd call down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Yeah. Think that's great? You won't believe what happens next. And, um, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. And well, Oliver Hooverdam is ours. No, I suggest you leave before my boys open fire on your men. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. <sighs> leave on your feet or leave wrapped in your flag. Look, I know you're riding high right now. But let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... Yeah, how about I ask these robots to go fuck you and your entire battalion with a rocket barrage, you know? Yeah. I was hoping we could be pleasant about this. You want me to make tracks out of here, head back west, tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today, and if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook, or I'm not going anywhere.
He's talking all you can do. I can talk tough, real tough. Ah, that's so. Well, if all you brought is words, then this is going to be one short conversation. Yeah. You think these robots are all the forces I have? Right now, that's all that's standing there. Well, except for the corpses. So that's your plan? Hold the dam here all by your lonesome? While the boomers fly west, that works for me. They wouldn't. Well, um, I'm sure if asked, what? Um, well, I'm sure if asked, then they'll be on board. Yeah, I, I'm very convincing. Yeah, uh, we might as well take this embarrassment to the end. I think they blew their load here today with their fireworks. They'll prefer targets closer to home. Yeah. This is where having proper allies would have gone a long way. But since we can't speak to anyone and I didn't want to join the Brotherhood, so we're on our own. So either you're going to leave or you're going to fight. You just so decide. I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. And like I said, I'm not leaving the dam now the Legion's been broken. Yeah. And you decided to fight against the guy with that grenade. You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but, well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality to be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be. Off making a few changes. And I... I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended. Quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the woman responsible for a truly free New Vegas. She ensured that Mr. House's tyranny was broken and that neither Caesar's legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Tabitha and Rhonda went east through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. After a long and eventful life, Raoul's luck finally ran out during his time with the Courier. Though the Wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the Boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. The Brotherhood's open aggression along the New Vegas highways troubled Veronica greatly. Nevertheless, it removed all doubt from her mind that in leaving them, she had made the right choice. Eventually, she would take to the road, less in hopes of finding a new home than of leaving memories of the old one behind her. Their leaders destroyed by the Courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the Courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. 
Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. Though Arcade's intentions were pure, and his goals were noble, he ultimately succumbed to the harsh brutality of the Mojave, like so many before him. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. The slaughter of the Van Graffs in the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply line suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Rose of Sharon Cassidy died as her caravan died in an unmarked grave, another victim of the Mojave. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. He had survived police service in Colorado, the Great War, combat duty with the Legion, and being the companion of the King. But in the end, Rex finally succumbed to the horrors of the Wasteland. While the destruction of the Repcon rockets appeared to be a boon to the salvagers of Novak, the benefit would never be realized. Radioactive fuel from the wrecked ships seeped out and contaminated the area. Salvagers were forced to move on, and the town was abandoned. Tired of waiting for the world to be done with him, Boone ventured into the wastes to make his own way out. Unable to clear his mind of the past, he was at last granted the death he'd awaited, bringing final rest to a life that had ended long ago. The NCR, battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the Powder Gangers. As a result, Powder Ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. After the majority of the Vault 19 Powder Gangers joined the Great Khans, the weaker members scattered throughout the Mojave wasteland. Though a few managed to erase their past, most never survived the journey. After the death of Chief Hanlon, the power of NCR's rangers was broken for years. Their organization, so reliant on the wisdom and guidance of its elder members, became a shadow of what it once was to people across the wasteland. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Congratulations on completing Bolas New Vegas. Would you like to do the save prior to the Hoover Dam battle? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. Now. Yeah. Uh, I want to do this for one reason.
Yeah, tackle, uh, tackle all the sides available here. Out of that, I want to see something that we didn't see. Wood craters. I was hoping they were be on un they wouldn't be shown directly that I that I've explored them. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Good up to New Vegas. Um, a lot of the sort of uh, bad endings or so, sort of uh, trouble endings are caused by me skipping or leaving a lot of quests half down. I wasn't. I didn't do pre-side with the Mormons or in the Mormon front, the followers of the Apocalypse, for example. I, I didn't really help them at all. Mm -hmm. If you, I would have get secured supplies for them, help a little bit uh, at the city more, the ending would have been different. So a lot of those endings are because I just walked past, walked past a place did what was I felt was mandatory at the time to move on or achieve a goal, and then I just dropped everything and left it. So there's also some things that are probably not mentioned at all because of that. This isn't all of them. Uh, I'm not seeing anything new. Ah, yeah, let me do this. <sighs> now it should be showing all map markers, yeah. Legate's camp. I think there's uh, some kind of a death call sanctuary somewhere too. Lake Mead Cave. Camp Guardian. MP. I don't think we visited there. Yeah, there's quite a lot of bottom. Legion raid camps. 95 Viper in camp. Red Thai women. Yep. Crashed vertebrate. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few sites that would be very interesting that we didn't long. Even in areas that we mostly explored, still there are sites we never, never really explored all that much. And mounts, allied technologies options. Basin Creek building, pump stations, Vegas Steel, no power. Bun Springs. Yep. West side. Or Monte Carlo. We visited quite a lot of places, but there's still quite a few we didn't visit at all. We visited most of the major places though. Gibson Train Yard. The Large Board. Yep. Cap Counterfeiting Shack. Fisherman's Prime. Scavenger Platform. Anyway, <sighs> New Vegas. Um, I, I like this game quite a bit. It's uh, a lot of the at least game mechanic gripes that I have about Fallout 3 are addressed here, and uh, a lot of the, the role playing elements have been enhanced. So, in many ways, this is, in my view, just an upgrade on the Fallout 3. Well, what do you like about whether you like the actual plot or not? That's that's a matter of taste, but uh, uh, objectively comparing these just from a game mechanics point of view, uh, I feel this is the superior game. Fallout 3 is just simplified, but you can do everything you want to do. Everything you did in Fallout 3, you can do it here. It might just require a 
using a different type of ammunition or uh, just be aware of a few additional mechanics it, in my opinion it just makes the game more interesting it allows a lot more options so it's just plus overall and for the casuals you can play like you play it in Fallout 3 if you want to be a more hardcore then uh, you can play the hardcore mode mainly biggest effect is really that way ammunition way probably at least 100 pounds of what we're carrying is ammunition and we are something like we have strengthened we have at least extra 100 pounds from perk so it's not a it's not a minor thing it's it's more obvious for us since we were uh, explosive so we have mini nukes missiles uh, 40 millimeter about 140 millimeter grenades so it's it's doesn't it's not a surprise that we have so much weight but yeah, I, I like it. makes you think a little bit more makes you manage a bit more it, it it's not a it still doesn't make the it doesn't make a massive difference to how the game is played, it just makes you have to concentrate on a few weapons, but in reality if you play in the casual mode, that's what you probably do anyway, you're not gonna carry around like 10, 10 weapon usually, you, you, what you're mostly using is maybe something like 3 or 4 weapons, so this just this just makes this more of a must but it's more it's it seems more restricting than it actually is when you play it a little bit more extra management it's uh, i i don't have opinion if you like playing the casual modes more power to you if you don't just use the hard mode, mode uh, i don't think one is better than the other i just enjoy the hardcore mode more um, yeah i don't know what to say about this game uh, may mostly it's better mechanical wise, and uh, the DLCs are better. The be the better DLCs in Fallout 3 are about the same level as the weaker ones in this, and the stronger ones are in in some ways better than a large chunks of the original game. And the overall a different bit of variety into the mix. So even then, I I I like them a bit more. So overall, this is a I don't really have any major weaknesses for this game. I I have a wish list of what could be done better. Things like that, companion. Making any kind of tactical use of your campaigns is fairly hard mm, because the, you can't really command editing. You don't have formations like it. it they don't really. There's not a any kind of real team management system. That's that's the one thing that basically makes it much harder for hardcore in hard, hardcore mode if your companions alive. Not because they couldn't make it. They have the equipment, the ability. It's just every time a serious fight happens, it turns into a cluster fudge very quickly. So either you have an overwhelming firepower so you can take on everything, or you're going to be losing companions sooner or later. Sniping might be a good option to keep things alive too. So boon with a good weapon plus you yourself with a good long range weapon that pretty much be probably a better team you could have. Yeah. I I like this game quite a lot. It's it's a good game. And it does have one problem, but that, that's an engine problem. The in, instability at times. Uh, 
Every time that's really happened, in multiple times, I've verified the integrity on Steam and it's basically always by the single file that's been corrupted and it reload downloads it and then the game is works perfectly for uh, quite a quite a while. If it starts crashing again you can probably verify it and surprise surprise you're more likely to find that you have a corrupted file again and but I, I think that sort of happens to many of these games using the same engine. In Skyrim, if you play long enough, there's a, there's a good chance you encounter a bug where you load your game and it never loads. So what you need to do is load a, basically a separate game that is at the very start of its gameplay career, so there's not much play. And then after you load that, you can load your uh, game that's played for like a hundred hours and it'll load normally so there's all kind of oddities that uh, this is this engine really has you learn to live with them and once you've played through a couple of these games you know quite a bit of the tricks you can get to bypass all the issues so there are an o occasional inconvenience and annoyance they don't really stop from enjoying the game yeah, I don't really have negatives about this. Things could be better. Game could look better. AI could be better. You could be managing your team should be more detailed and convenient. You could improve on the role playing options. Make some skills more useful. You could remove healing from food stuff to improve the usefulness of medical items. A lot of things you could do, but that's sort of the area you can also cover a lot with modding this game. So that's probably the biggest reason these games are so popular using this engine. The mod friendliness. There's a solid game at the bottom, but there's always things you don't like. Things you think could be developed a little bit more, things that are minor annoyances, so you get rid of them, boost the areas you like, boost sneaking. Maybe you thought sneaking was too easy, so you make it harder. Maybe you thought the fact that food heals is too big, so you can get rid of it. Maybe you think leveling up is too fast, so you can drop it uh, any, as much as you like. So, all kinds of things from little to major can be affected. One of my favorite is probably getting rid of the turn based thing entirely and replacing it with a intentional slow motion. So it uses your action points as currency to slow down the game when you want when you need it. So it it's it's another way to provide a smooth experience and and I feel it sort of fits the flowing gameplay better. You can't just let the game play for you, but it's again a taste question. If you want, not everyone is uh, good at first-person shooters, so if you don't have, if you know you suck at it, the turn-based mode is a god. It's a blessing to you. You can let your character do the shooting, and you can focus your character development in gaining more action points and improving your abilities in the turn-based mode. So. The original game does offer uh, quite a lot of var variety and options for most of users, but it also has uh, weaknesses here and there, but there are minor issues uh, that you... your preference... Er everyone has different preferences on them, so they're not... they don't really bother you. Yeah, I, I don't really have anything major negative to say about the game. It's a great game.